Pellet stove master here to show you uh, when your exhaust blower in your pellet stove needs replacement. Pellet stove master, what could go wrong with an exhaust blower? Barbara, I'm glad you asked because uh, there's a couple things that can go wrong. Remember that uh, St. Croix York uh, insert we worked on? Yes. Well, well, here's the uh, exhaust blower that was in that stove, and as you remember, uh, the number two light was flashing. And the reason the number two light was flashing is because there was not enough vacuum in the stove to keep the uh, vacuum switch uh, pulled in. And uh, if, there's not, if the exhaust blower is not pushing enough air through the stove, then uh, that will cause the problem. So uh, what I do is I always take the exhaust blower out and I do like a spin test. And here you can see the uh, blades just keep slowly winding down until it stops. Well, the blower in that St. Croix over here uh, did not pass the spin test. It, uh, the bearings are just frozen. So if I try to turn it on, you can see it's just not working that and that's a pure exhaust blower failure um, these blowers are made so that there's no easy tool uh, to take out the bearings and change them uh, they're putting in by a big machine so I just recommend that you change the exhaust blower and put in a brand new one now this exhaust blower over here, as you recall, came out of a uh, Travis uh, Lopi um, Lopi Bay Newport uh, Bay stove, and um, even though the it spins fine, uh, the problem here is the case is rather the case is loose. So if we connect this one up, you'll see that the customer really couldn't stand the noise that that blower was making. And this has two male connectors on it, so we have to uh, connect it up this way. This one and turn on the power and if you can hear that vibration. That's um, and even the vibration sounds worse and louder in the stoves. Now and both of these exhaust blowers have the black case and that's what they call a closed frame blower. What I recommend is that you replace these blowers with a higher current open frame blower with the larger blades. The larger blades will move more air at the uh, lower heat levels and burn the pellets more completely so that's how it gets the name uh, the low drafter it's uh, higher current is 1.75 amps as these are only one amp so it gives you a lot more power and that power it makes it more consistent at the lower heat levels especially after they're in there for a while and you do collect ash on the blades this will be stronger and last longer. And you can see how much more powerful that is. It's got more magnets for higher torque, a nice ball bearing, and a nice big um, uh, coil winding. Uh, so this is what I highly recommend. Uh, here's your pellet stove master here for the lesson of the day 
and have a good one. Take care. Bye.